What is up everybody? My name is CTBTR and welcome back to another video. And today we're doing a brand new branch of a video that I have never done on the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you like and subscribe for more of these videos. Especially this brand new branch that I wanted to do. I've seen a lot of people within shorts and regular videos on YouTube and even when it comes to Instagram if that pop uh, possibility c comes up to be honest um, I'm actually doing a tier list that I never actually done before and I'm gonna do this by myself there is actually a similar version of this video that is never going to be released but it will be coming out later on in next year so hopefully that this version of that one it doesn't make sense to you guys once we get there but today I want to do a minecraft mob tier list it's never been done on my channel and for you guys all out there um I am NOT a noob at all of these look uh, pretty much looking at all of these um mobs right here all I can say is that all I can say is that they're pretty much in line what I'm going to talk about. Most of them I may end up remembering their names, but most of them, or some of them I will say may not, but it's basically what I'm going to talk about is that every time whenever I make these episodes, or rather these videos of these tier lists, they're going to be based on like S to, well pretty much F to S basically. And as you can see within the screen, S means that it's overall great, it's done flawlessly, and it stays where it is, it remains the same. No changes accepted. A is where it's very close to S, but not as much. It still needs a little bit of improvement or something like that. B is like good, but it's not in line with A and S. C means average, nothing really talking about there. D is pretty much it's bad, it's not doing a great job, and F is just trash. But that's how we're gonna do it. So, since we have the mobs tier list from Minecraft, it's gonna be based on how they represent it, what they actually do, and what's the overall, where they're gonna land. So. The very first one is the LA. Whew, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, but not as much. Um, with the LA's, I would say that what they represented is pretty good. I like the usual way how they can help and bring items to you. That's kind of cool, but it kind of somewhat a little bit useless in a sort of way. But the LA's are still cool. Regardless, no matter what, it's still cool, but I want to give it at, uh, I want to give it a B at best. The design, I forgot to mention, the design of it, it looks very flawless. And by the way, just to let you guys know, this is my own tier list. This is just based on my own opinions about this. But it's, if, it, if it's actually, if it's actually in line with everybody else's opinions in general, then it could be somewhere around C or B or not, depending. I could be wrong. Everybody can be wrong or right at some times, but again, that's how it's gonna go. Now we got the bat. Um, the bat is useless. They are annoying, and they only go inside of caves. That's it. That's all they do. And I'm sorry to disrespect the community based on the um, based on the bats, but I think I want to put it at F, to be honest, because I don't feel like it's it, it doesn't have to be here. I just don't understand why they brought it into Minecraft. I don't know why, but yeah, I just don't know. Bees? Oh no! Having flashbacks from the very first episodes of freaking uh, Minecraft Survival. Wow, that's a long. That's been one year though, too. Um. But bees, with bees, bees are literally okay. There's nothing wrong with them. 
but they are cute in some ways in Minecraft, but in reality, where if you have seen bees in real life, they're not that, they're not cute, I'm sorry. But these ones did a very, or uh, Mojang, the creators of Minecraft, but more, for, more fortunately, it's Notch himself who did it. Oh, whoops. He, or they themselves actually did a pretty good job with the design of the bee. The overall premise is that they live in the hive, and if you break the hive's nest up for the bees, bad things can happen. Their eyes will turn red, and they start attacking you, but yada yada yada. All I can say, it's a little bit better than the, bee than the bat. It's not like higher up by C, or even right to the LA for that matter, but that's how it's gonna go. And then we got the blaze. Finally, we got something good. It's only just been three mobs already got ranked. Um, the Blaze. The Blaze is actually a cool design. Has a cool design, I'll say. Its premise is where you have to kill it in order to drop item, an item that is used for Ender Pearls and that to combine, which makes the Ender Eye. Which is the uh, blazing rod, or the rod for sure, if anybody knows what I was talking about. But it, the actual name, I can't even remember it, remember it right now. Comment down below what it is, please. <laughs> I just need to, I just need to know. But with the blaze, I'll say this: it's very good. But there, one, the one promise that I do not like, they throw things at you, and I'll just give it a, at least an A. Hopefully everybody agrees with on that. It's not like top tier S. I don't want to give it an S. That's why. Even though it's OP in some things, but it, I just want to give it an A. There you go. Um, we got the rabbit or bunny, if one of you guys want to call it. But rabbits are just kind of like useless somewhat, but not as much. What they drop is like they're mean, a mini version of the leather that cows drop and hoglins are able to drop them but I'm not too sure about that but I'll say it's C at average it's they're actually cute not gonna lie they're actually cute within Minecraft but in reality they're still cute for that matter and then you got the camel one of the latest additions to Minecraft one of the mo actually some of the mobs are actually in here that are from 1.20 so camels they're actually kind of okay they're great the design actually kind of makes it accurate to the camels in real life and I'll give it a B at best and to be honest its premise is just like being in the desert that's really what it, what 1.20 is is to try to get the desert to be more more better more you know trying to make sure that it stays within the desert region you know um now we got the cape spider okay so we got the, the the subspecies of spiders now if you guys don't know i do not like spiders just a teeny tiny bit but there's some spiders that i like they're not as threatening they're not as scary but the ones that are like very scary as an example as a black widow if you guys seen a black widow don't don't touch them don't do anything about that just just no no as what i have learned and i'm going to mention in this video i have learned there's a spider called a vinegar and what they do is basically bite you in order for you to have a way it's like poison somewhat but it's not really what I could say is that once they actually bite you and once you have the bite from the vinegar what they do what's actually gonna happen is gonna make you taste vinegar so anything that you taste wherever you eat is gonna taste vinegar so keep that in mind that's a good fact to know Rich Fifth, my second older brother, he actually mentioned that and actually talked to me about it. And not gonna lie, I have seen one out in the wild. 
into the entrance of my kitchen out of a, out of all places um now going back to the cave spider they are actually annoying they are worse than the regular spiders they give you poison for that matter and I just want to say I would just give it a D not F but there's the color scheme is actually kind of di diversify diver diversifying what what these cave spiders are than the regular spiders so yeah now we got the chicken its premise its premise is basically a resource of food but you can also you know make it a farm where you have a bunch of chickens and we will get to the other animals as we as we go along with the tier list but I'll give it a C at best no no, I'm, I was just going to give it a B. How about that? I mean, it's not as high as A or S. I'll put it that way. I'll just put it that way. Now we got the Nemo. <laughs> Oops. I did not mean to say Nemo from uh, Finding Nemo. I meant the Clownfish. That's the name of the foot, uh, the actual fish. Um, the Clownfish. Um, they don't really need to be here, to be honest, but they're still actually considered as mobs. But I'll just place it at C. Same thing with the regular fish, which is the cod fish. And you know what's funny? COD means Call of Duty. <laughs> Anyways, but they're not to be here, but they're going to be placed as, uh, at a C at best. And then we got the cow. Um, I'll say this, is that the cow really by far is the best yeah is the well not the best but there's two of them that are going to be that the best but cow specifically is at best with a lot of resources of that food in that category of the food and i'll give it at least a b just for the, just for the sake of why it's very good but it's at the top of the B's or you know what I'll give it an A there you go A is much better now we got a llama llamas are pretty cool they're not as threatening or scary but if you mess with them they're gonna spit at you and just psh, that's all they do but you know what's funny and what is cool about them is that you got the wandering trader where they spawn in and they have their own set of camels that are ready. That are ready. Oh god, I'm yawning. I don't know why. Jesus. What they actually do though is pretty cool. Is that they help wandering traders to kind of like, you know, you know, never get lost and we are see the llamas that lets us know that's the wandering trader. But with the llamas in general, they're they're not as bad. I'll just give it at the top of C, so they're still average within the range of the other animals, but that's all I could get. Now we got the creeper. Oh boy. This one is gonna be a lot of hurdles. Alright, so creeper. Creeper? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to get this video copyrighted. Um, Creeper or Creepers are not the worst mobs. They're very cool. They're very cool. The downside about them is that if you have one right next to your god dang base, try to do not let it explode your base. And I guarantee you, you guys have seen some of the videos that I made within the past that that actually happened. No jokes. And it was not great. Those are bastards of the creepers. All I could say from here, creepers are not bad. They're annoying, but they're cool. And I'll give it at least its rifle place at B. Yeah, B is a little bit perfect with with the home of the bees. And not only that, if you guys have seen the early concepts of a creeper, it used to look like a pig. It will be on the screen on the top. No, not the top right corner. I meant the bottom right corner that you will see on the screen. But there you go. Now we got the dolphin. It's cute. 
there's nothing wrong with this, but it's going to be Homer that deceives. There's nothing wrong about them. They have no premise, but they're cool. Donkey. This is one of the very first, not very first, but this is one of the first horses that are rideable horses with that region that we're going to talk about. So the donkey is pretty much okay -ish. The problem with the donkey is like it's a little bit weaker than the other horses that are going to be on the list. And roughly, I'm going to say it, it's going to be in C at average. And now we got the very first zombies of the tier list that popped up, which is Drown. Drown is actually kind of cool. They're annoying when you go in the water. Um, their premise is try to use their tridents to basically knock your knock yourself down or knock you down, basically. I'm sorry to say knock yourself down, but uh, Drown is pretty much, pretty much cool. Um, what else they also dropped? Shells, they also drop shells. And also drop orbs too. The blue whatever you call those orbs that you see. Um other than that, drown, I'll say I'll give it a B at best but low right here. How about that? That makes more sense. Now we got the guardians, the two of the kind. So the guardians, or the, the great guardian. I have never fought this. I'll say it and right to my own regard. I have never fought this. Ever. And to my dismay, I'll just give it. There's actually not a lot of D's. I'll put it at D. How about that? I'll place it at the top D. It's very cool. It's annoying. I've seen a lot of people didn't like this when they fought this. But overall, it's home with the Ds. They're not as... Not trash. I'll say they're, they're not trash within the whole entire premise. But... I don't know. It may move. I'm not too sure. But it may end up moving. And now we got the Ender Dragon. Oh my god. The Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon is very cool. I'll admit that. But it's been there ever since within Minecraft since the very beginning not the very very beginning but the very beginning to have its story wherever you want to have your own story within each world and it's very cool it's very awesome and it's annoying to kill by the way once you get to the end and I'll say this it's Probably at the top of the A's. Not quite S. I'll say that. Not quite S. And now speaking about the Ender Pearls. Endermen. They're very scary to look at. But not as scary, okay? But when I was little, I was scared of them, by the way. And it was not great. It was... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Something about them is not great. But great to look at. But not as, not, not as much anymore if you talk uh talk about you know but yeah endermen they are great with the ender pros when they drop them it they like i was saying about the blaze you use the blade rods and use the ender pros to make the ender eye and have it helped to find where the stronghold is where the ender portal will end or the end portal will be at basically if you find them so overall i think it's a little bit better than the Ender Dragon. I'm sorry to anybody. I'm sorry to anybody who really likes the Ender Dragon, but I feel like the Enderman is a lot more cooler. They're a lot more recognizable at the start, and it, it's better to actually give it, to, it its rightful place. But next, we got another species within the End Dimension, which yes, it has a dimension. Um, er Endermites. They're annoying. They are. Why do? Why do they? Why do they exist, man? They're basically the end. They're basically it's the Enderman of Silverfish within the end world, basically. I'm sorry to say this. I'll give it an F. It feels like I'm joking, but I'm not. 
I just want to give it an F. And oh boy, we got one of the illagers up here. Okay. Evoker. So, the Evoker is great. The way how it shoots out the magics is cool, but it's also annoying when you try to fight it. The worst out of it, when you get to and find the Evokers and get to the point where it's like, it's like, what are they going to do with these, uh, these mobs that, uh, these Vex, what did I, what I would say, what I call them. And they are freaking annoying. And we will get to them soon. I do see it at the bottom of the list, but we will get to them. I'll, I'll explain why. And overall for the Evokers, I'll give it a straight A. The way they drop the items is pretty cool. And it's pretty much very OP. It's called the Totem on Dying. Once it shows on the screen on the bottom right, that's what it looks like. And what they have the what they actually have is pretty awesome. It's great for what it is. And it's used when, whenever you fall or where you hold it in your hand to make sure you don't die. It's very awesome. It's very cool. And that gives you a second chance of life. And it's respectfully in A, the not closest S. Now we got the foxes. Okay, this is Aiden's favorite mob. AKA Lone, if you guys know who I'm talking about. He really wants me to basically not put it an F. I do respect that. With the foxes, I'll give it at least an A. Uh, they're cool. They live in a cool environment. And you see white foxes as well, where you see them in the Arctic kind of biomes. And, and they're very cool. Especially with the Tango biome, not gonna lie. And they're very cool. So I'll just give it an at best. But with the its premise is they only kill rabbits maybe sheep I'm not too sure but also they kill chicken I don't know why they actually kill chicken let me know about the, down in the comments like let me know down in the comments that they actually eat chicken they, they kill chicken that's very weird to say but I just want to know now we got the gas the giant monster of all of this besides the ender dragon I'm not too sure the gas is very annoying it's very cool it kind of looks like a jellyfish I don't know why but I'll just give it at least a B in the middle between the LA and the chicken right here and um, overall it's pretty good it's really pretty great and this is the most controversial I think the most contra I think this is the most controversial uh, mob of all, which is the glow squid. Let me talk about the positives, then it's the negative. The positive about this being here is the vice is pretty much diversifying more of squids. I kind of like that, but it also has like these glow inks where you can actually use it to dye using the dyes that you have of any color and just make it where you place it onto the sign it makes it a little bit like a font so at first I was like I was like how would you do that can you actually command it where it should change the color of that but no I finally figured out that that was it so but now the negatives about this we should have not like brought it into Minecraft. I don't know what you guys were thinking about the mob boat. It's actually kind of stupid. We could have gotten another illager for that matter. I hope I said that correctly. But I'll say I'll give it an F by far. But like I said, with the the, the positives, it's it's going to be at the top of the list. It's not by far the worst mob. I'll say that. But there you go. So, if everybody does not like the squid, I do not like the squid either, but it's still, I do like the, the kind of the diversifying the squids. But like I said, it's going to stay rapidly placed at F for this sake. And like again, it's based on my own opinions about this 
all the mobs, but that's how it's gonna go. And now we got the goat. We got the goat of the goats! <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, the goats, the way how they represent them in the trailer is kind of funny for the 1.18, I think. Because they were not introduced in 1.17, but they got introduced in 1.18 of Minecraft. And they're very, very cool. They're very cool in the way they represent it. However, to this dismay, it would have been fully cooler that they just rush at you, just push you out far where you get knocked. Where you get knocked out, which is kind of funny. But in reality, they didn't do that in the game, which I don't know why. But I'll give it at, at B, but all the way at the low. How about that? They're not as bad. They're not at lower as the other ones that we see so far. And now we got the other guardians, but this is the uh, the guardians. But this is actually an elder guardian, just to be very clear, all right. But the guardians, I'll say, they're still they are annoying as well. But I'll give it a little bit much better. I'll give it a much better ranking than Elder Guardian, but there you go. Now we got the Hoglin. This is what I was talking about from earlier when I was talking about the cow. They're actually A. They're actually kind of cool. And not only that, it gives you uh, pig meat. A lot more pig meat than the regular pig, which is still cool. That's its own premise. Now we got the... Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Now we got the husk. Alright, so the husk, it's pretty cool. It's diversifying like it, it's, divi it's basically diversifying the zombies. But the husk is cool, but the one downside to it is that they don't get... They don't get on fire when the sun comes up which that's unfortunate but the regular zombies do the drown gets it as well including zombie villagers we'll get to them soon but overall the husk i'll give it at least as well as a bee they're cool but they're not like close to be you know higher once once we get to the other zombies but yeah now we got the iron golem they're dope. I'll say this right off the bat. They're dope. Their premise is pretty much protecting the villagers from harm, from the illagers and zombies and whatever you want to say. They're pretty cool. And not only not only that, they also drop iron, which is cool, but they also drop a rose. And there's a reason for that. They, o they actually give it to... Um, Small villagers, I don't know for sure for that, but baby villagers, if you want to call them like that. There you go. But overall, the Iron Golem, by far, I'll give it at. I'll just. You know what? They're dope. I'll give it an S. They're going to be at the S tier. They're going to be where they should be. Where, where are they going to be, you know? They're going to be at the, the top of the list, along with the Enderman. Now we got the Axel Auto. They're cool, they're cute, but see, they have, n I have, n have never seen their own premise at all. I don't know why for that matter, but that's pretty much how it is. And then you got the magma cube. Okay, we got the divine, for, uh, di divi diversing slimes now. The magma cube is annoying. They, oh, sure, they actually kind of split and all, but... I want to at least give it a D. Not F, but D. It's just, they're annoying. Their premises pretty much annoy you when they try to attack you, which is stupid. I don't know, I don't know why. And now we got the mule. It's the same thing. It's the same thing like the donkey. It's going to stay at the sea. No questions asked. Now we got Axolotl. The Axolotl is pretty great. The axolotl, where they represent it, is you know, trying to tame it to make sure it turns into a kitty and you have your own kitty. 
nowadays, now cats are now usually more diverse away from the axolotls. They're pretty cool. And that's cool to kind of like separating them at best. But the axolotls are cool. They're going to be at the B. Pandas. Hmm. This one, this mob, pandas are pretty also dope. They're actually dope, and these are pretty much one of the bears bears that we got. The second bears that we got, basically. It's still a bear, by the way, but I'll just place it up in the B as well. They're still cool. Um, Their premise is pretty much eat bamboo, but with axolotls, like I said, they run fast. I forgot their premise, by the way, but there you go. Now we got the phantoms. Oh my god, no. Not the phantoms. Oh, Not Danny Phantom, but no. These phantoms are... <sighs> These phantoms are... Completely... Annoys me. The heck out of me. Whenever I was trying to get up to higher places, they just like... Wow! Try to... Try to knock you out. And I'm like... Bro, why do these exist? I just don't understand. What's their premises? It's like they're trying to kill somebody with when they try to fly. It's like it's like that bad movie that I have saw recently, which is called Bird Birdemic or whatever. I don't know why I kinda of brought that up. But if anybody knows that, you're a legend somewhat. But get more detail. Try to get detail from the burnt demic so that way everybody gets the context about it. Overall, the Phantom, it's very annoying. They're cool though. The design actually is cool, so I'll give it a C, but they're in the middle. They're not like far down all the way here or to D for that matter, but they're still annoying as hell. A pig! Now we got the now now we got the pig as with one piece of like you know cho uh, pork chop or two they're gonna be a they're gonna be aligned with hoglin in the same ranking i'll put it that i'll i'll place it that it's the same premise it's based for food and yeah and also for farming now we got the piglin okay so before we get to the piglins i want to get to the zombie pigmen they're the very original ones here the zombie pigmen pigmen Otherwise, now they're zombie pigmen or piglin, zombie piglin or ziglins. They could have called it ziglins, that would have been better. But with them, they're pretty dope. Those ones are the ones that you don't mess with, but if you mess with, they would like charge at you. And they're going to be at A along with the P, along with the. Along with the pigs right here. And Hoglin's pretty much a pig. Currently, but not really. But there you go. Now we got the piglin. Now we finally get to the piglin. The piglin... I don't know. The piglin is just... Like, they attack you just like automatically. And they're freaking annoying. But they're cool though. The only thing their premise is... Is that we, we wanted to make sure that they don't... Charge at us as best as possible. So our only best way to get out of that situation is give them give them gold, and giving them gold allows us to have the advantage to get more ender pearls and rods easily instead of getting you know blaze blade rods you know from the the blaze you know. So I'm gonna place it at B. I'll place it at B. Now we got the armored piglet, uh, piglins. They're a little bit far, not better than the piglins, but I'll give it at the middle of the bees. How about that? But they're still in the same ranking, just not as direct, uh, you know. And we got another illager. This is the pillager. When villagers versus pillagers came out of the 1.14, and like I was, and here's the thing. 
when I had my X vs. 60, I was thinking like, can I get another update where... But can I get another update where there's something supposed to happen? And pi pillagers and... Villagers vs. Pillagers actually kind of started to change the dynamic of the game as a whole. And after seeing that the discontinuing of the... I forgot the name of the studio. And it pretty much is... It's pretty much taking away of Minecraft's glory of, you know, the console versions of Minecraft where where you have it where you have where they're pretty much in line exactly where you're supposed to do however one thing I could say for sure is that like the evokers they also still drop maybe a total of a dying I'm not too sure but what they drop is crossbows but what, like I said, what they represent up, they're freaking awesome. But they are a little bit annoying. But I'll say this, they're also an A. Just because the way how they represent it is pretty awesome. Their premise is pretty much protecting their own pillager base. And basically attacking the villagers. Which is pretty awesome. However, though. The pillagers are pretty much... Are the Steve... Fourth iteration of the Illagers, I'll say that. And now we got the Villagers, the original OG before the uh, Wandering Trader. Um, the Villagers are great. The way they speak, though, is pretty awesome, but they're annoying. <laughs> if you have too many Villagers, I'll say that. They're pretty annoying in a lot of ways. A lot of ways. However, they're still great. They're going to be an A as well. They're not quite as S tier. No, no. You know what? I'm going to give it an S. You know what? Fuck it. No. I don't want to disrespect the community on the villager. And I decided to place it up in S tier because it really helps out with things. But not as much. I'll say that. But... Villagers are going to be straight up going to stay as S tier. And not only that, if you guys remember the old days of Dan TDM's videos, if you guys know who Dan TDM is, he is the one who brought Tra Dr. Treos to life wearing his lab coat of white. And that's the original colors for the villager kind of colors that we all see. But now, seeing the new versions of those villagers, it kind of di diversifying. Divide, di pretty much divide, diversing the entirety, all the villagers together within each biome, which is cool. But Dr. Trejo has to stay, remain the same. Not different, different outfit, you know. Now, we got the zombie villager. So this is the second last, no. Yeah, it is. This is the second last zombie, isn't it? Yeah. And the reason why the... Zombie Piglin, Ziglin, or Zombie Pigman, wherever you want, or Piglin, or whatever you want to call it. The reason why they're better than the Drown and the Husk is because the way how they represent it. But the Zombie Villager are going to surpass that, and it's going to be an S. There's a reason. One, they're very cool when, when the actual Villager, say for instance, gets bitten or gets killed by a regular zombie or any different type of zombie and they turn into their own variation of their own zombie basically basically infecting basically I kinda like that it's pretty cool and not gonna lie that zombie villa zombie villagers are gonna be always better than these ones but not the regular zombies we'll get to them yet uh, we will get to them soon but overall the zombie villager for for like I said it's pretty cool its promise is pretty great but the best way in order to get that villager to go back to its original state you have to give him a golden apple or some sort of potion magic mechanism or whatever you want to call it in order to turn him back to a villager and it kind of makes it out Polar, polar bears. They're cool. Their their promises in the Arctic kind of region. 
and Lion Switch Pandas as well with MB. I don't know why I put it so high, but there you go. Puffer fish. They're annoying a little bit. And they're funny when they get grabbed within the hook of the hook of the rod. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, but um Pufferfish pretty much I really want to give it at C but lower because I don't want it I just don't want to whoa almost messed that up uh, almost about to drop my mouse um but yeah so that's pretty much it for the pufferfish now we got the ravager oh no wait this is not the second this is not the last of the illagers but yeah this is actually six out of the illagers but ravagers are very difficult the best way I could say about the Ill about, about the Ravagers, they're very annoying. They're very destructive, by the way. They're cool as heck. But they're annoying to get them to be taken down. The only best way to take them down is they're in the water. That is the best way in order to get them rid of as best as possible. So overall, they're at an A. At, well, in the middle, not as best as these guys were. That, that these guys are, but yeah. Now we got the mushroom. Now we got the mushroom cow. There's nothing wrong with this mob. There's basically cow. It's basically a cow. Just its color has changed into a red, but it has some mushrooms onto it. I'll just give it a B. At best, nothing wrong with them at all. I'll just give it. Wait, actually, I'll just put it right about here. Now we got the parrots. Based on pets, straight A. Parrots are very, very cool. They're very, very in line. What is they supposed to be doing? Once you make it as a pet, they're very cool. They stay on you to your actual armor or shorter for that matter. And they actually follow you around. And it's pretty cool. And whenever you play a music with the jukebox or whatever, they start dancing. Oh, whoa. Whoops. They start dancing pretty much. Salmon, same thing within the within the other fishes. They're from a sea. The shulkers, or shulk, or shulker, whatever you want to call it. I do not like it. The box, the the mob itself is cool, but the way how it's represented, it makes you go up to the air just floating, and it makes you drop down just, just like that. And I hope that audio kind of caught it, but. It's just like, just like that. I just, I don't know why, but I'll just give it, I'll just actually give it uh, at least a B. The whole entire thing of it is cool, but when you kill it, the shulker box is yours, basically, and put stuff in. It also has a variety of colors, too, which is cool. Now we got the silverfish, which is the original of, you know, what I just said earlier. Silverfish... They are very annoying. They very are kind of sketchy to be as the mimic of the boxes. They're it's so bizarre. Now all I can say is putting putting it at C. Now we got the skull. So now we got the skull of a horse. So we got a skeleton horse. A horse skeleton, whatever you want to call it. Their entire premise, they're cool. It aligns with the skeleton. We'll get to that soon once after ranking the horse skeleton. They're freaking A. They're very much better than Mule and the Donkey for that matter. They're very freaking cool. And it's right in the middle. Now, Skeleton. The one of the OG mobs. Now, the Skeleton. The Skeleton is actually cool but they're annoying when you get shot at but i'll say s you can't you can't really you can't really um you can't really get rid of them you can't really basically keep making them go down uh down the tier so they're gonna be staying the s slime uh they're gonna be a c they're a little bit better than the, ma the magma cube it's the same premise that the only thing that it doesn't do that is it doesn't hurt you as much 
when they try to get when they try to get smaller. But yeah. Now we got this sniffer. It's one of the new 1.20 mobs. I'll say I'll give it a C at best for now. I have never actually seen them yet in survival, but I've seen them within creative mode. I've seen what they look like, and yeah. Now we got the snowman. Same thing. Uh, C. The snowman is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept of itself, but when you shear it off the, the, the pumpkin, it has a weird face. Now knowing that, it's pretty cool. Now we got the regular spider. I'll say this. They are way much better than the cave spiders. So they're on the opposite of that D, uh, of that D tier. Basically a B tier. In the middle, basically. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding about that. They're going to be way up here, along with the creeper and the spider, within B. Now we got the regular squid. There's nothing wrong with the squid. The only thing I'll say is that you get ink from it and change it to, and change it to do a black dye, basically. So they're going to be a C at best. And then we got a stray. Is it a stray? Yeah, it is a stray. So with the stray, I'll say... Uh, they're pretty much cool with the based on the design But the way how they shoot at you they make you slow. So I'll just give it a B They're going two tiers down now. I forgot this mob I Forgot this mob. I forgot this mob's name, but hold on Strider that's what it is Strider <sighs> Striders uh, they're cool um, there's nothing wrong with them, but the only thing I'll say is the C. Now we got the Tapples. There's nothing wrong about them, but they're going to be at a D. Frogs, same thing, but they're going to be at the lower of the T of the C tier, not in the D tier. I hope that makes sense. Now we got the Turtle. The Turtle is actually cool. I'll give it a B. The reason why it's going to be at a B is because its premise is they're cool within Minecraft and once you kill it, you get the helmet of the shape or basically you get the shell to make it as a helmet, which is pretty cool. They're pretty, pretty, they're, 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 they're pretty sick. And the premise is, is pretty much you breathe underwater. so. Now we got the cats. They it's the same thing. B with also a lot. I'll put it right next to that. Uh, next to them. Now we got the vex. Here we go. Here we go. We're finally here. We finally got to uh, vex. So with the vex, I do not like this mob. It's so annoying by separate, but they're annoying when they spawn by evoker. I just don't understand. Also, their original design, it's going to pop up on screen again. With this time, it's just their original design. They look like a skin for Minecraft skins. To be fair, hopefully every, anybody has seen that version knows what I'm talking about. But their new version actually now kind of looks a lot more better. But it kind of like divi diversifying like these of uh, these these guys allays are pretty much the good of this but vex are pretty much the bad side of that so but the like but the, but the, but the way they attacked you is the same thing as the phantom but I'll give it I'll give it a lower scale all the way at the end they're not as D but their premise is pretty cool not gonna lie but the, the, they're just they're redesigned is a lot much better they're not as, you know, as we all already saw based on the original design, but that's pretty much it for that. For that. Now we've got the uh, Vindicator, the second last of the Illagers. The Vindicator is actually cool. They are annoying when they attack you, but they're still cool when they run. And, and they're going to be at A because their premise is pretty much still killing the, the villagers for that matter. Hunting them down, using their axes pretty much, and that's pretty cool. Now we got the warning trader. Um, 
the design of it's cool, but the the way how they give you the items is just like a scammer pretty much. But I'll give it a C at best. Now we got the warden, the 1.18 or 1.19. I think it's 1.19. Yeah. My God, the warden by far is the most scariest mob out there out of all the mobs that we just ranked so far for the rest of them that are going to be ranked along this one is like i said the warden is very scary i'll tell you that it gives you that creepy feeling now it's becoming like a horror game once you go in, into the, the freaking depths of the caves hopefully we get this one on camera hopefully hopefully we get one of the wardens on camera and that would be crazy to see that um other than that the warden is pretty much very cool i don't know if they're better than the iron golem for that matter but i'll give it an a it they're pretty much cool by far and now we got the regular horse and thank uh, thank god this is the second last one and the horse is actually a straight up S. You can do whatever you want with the horse. And there's a reason why it's a lot better, but I wanna give it I wanna really wanted to say it right this time. The reason why that the regular horse is better than the other all the horses that we have seen, besides one, it's going to be an S. Um This horse or the horse, the original diversifying of the horses is the, by far the best one. They are original, they're OGs, and I really want to have it, its respect to be on S. There you go. Now we got the now we got the sheep. It's the same in line with the, the pig and the cow. They just give you less food. And I don't know why I put chicken down lower than it used to be. It's the same thing, but just you know, just. Just not as cool. Just put it that way. Um, now we got the vi the the witch. Basically, the last of the illagers. The witch is pretty cool. I like the fact that it gives its premise about a lot of things that it goes within. But I just do not like the way how the witch. I just don't like the witch. Just. Knocking you down with potions after potions and yeah, but the way she drops The way of the witch drops its stuff is pretty cool But they're not You can be useless at first, but then once you start to realize what they are There for a reason you already you're everybody should know, but they're going to be Also at a how about that? Now we got the wither I'll say they're a lot much better that they are the withers are way much better than the uh the ender dragon. I'll give it an S. There's a reason behind it, is that you get three wither wither skeleton skulls, you get soul sand, and you make the wither, and it costs massive destruction. The pretty much they're called goddess destruction of Minecraft, I'll call it that. And their premise is pretty much like I just said, so that's why it's on S. Now, we got the last five. The first thing we're gonna start off with is the wolf. I'm gonna go by not in order, but the wolf is a S. There's a reason behind it. The wolf is the OG pet, and it will forever be the OG, where it completely makes it cool for the best for the wolf and it helps you once you tame it with using the bone from the skeleton they help you fight off mobs and if you get a lot of if you get a lot of wolves you have an army basically and after punch after punch and you got some help within Other than by, you know, having to be annoyed to you where you can't get your items within the caves. Anyways, now with the wither skeleton, they're pretty much S. 
I don't know why I said S, but they hold they hold swords. That's crazy to me. They are better than the skeleton, but yet again, they're still counted as OGs, but not like literal OGs. But again, they're still OGs for that matter. For within the mid of, of Minecraft. And now we got the Zoglin. The Zoglin is a lot better than the Hoglin, and I'll give it a much higher ranking than than the than the Hoglin. So the Zoglin is gonna stay right here. And now we got the last two. The zombie, like I said, it like I said, out of all the other zombies that we saw so far, I'll say this. Zombie has to stay at S because it's original. It looks like a zombie Steve, for that matter. It is pretty cool. And then, finally, we got the zombie horse. Um, the last time when I did this tier list, and not gonna lie, it was crazy to, to finally say this, is that it was never in just the actual tier list of itself within the original video of itself of the when I did this tier list with my with with Ian and uh, Aiden for that matter but I'll give it its ranking around A it's not close as this as the skeletons ranking but I'll put it right behind it there you go but that is pretty much the tier list guys hope you guys actually enjoyed this tier list as much as I do let me know what let me know what you think about this tier list. This tier list will be put in, to the, in the link in the description of this video. That way you guys can uh, actually look at this tier list. And we'll see what you think of it. Like I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Give it a, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. To, so, that way, so that way it supports the whole entire idea of the work I have done so far. And soon there's gonna be more videos later on down the road. Especially there's gonna be last two videos of the year of this year that I wanna really, really wanna talk about. And yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing else left to do. But there is one thing I wanna mention is that the Island Camp episode seven, the truth, is finally out. It is the second last episode of volume one. Volume 2, and just a heads up guys, Volume 2 will come out in next year, but I'm not going to say it, and it's going to be teased within Episode 8, so the final episode of Volume 3, just keep that in mind, and get your calendars ready for that, for the uh, whatever date, or whatever trailer is going to happen. Other than that... That is pretty much it, and I'll see you guys later. Stay fresh, everybody, and stay safe, as always, because we still got a COVID-19 out there. <laughs> but yeah, stay fresh, everybody, and have a great day.